Today, we're diving into some electrifying news on Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S25 Ultra. With performance benchmarks creating a lot of buzz, it's clear this flagship is poised to make a major impact. Let's get into what we know so far. Samsung fans, prepare yourselves. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is generating some impressive numbers ahead of its release, and we've got the latest scoop. Samsung has been rumored to pull out all the stops for this model, especially in the US where the Galaxy S25 Ultra, model SMAS938U, will likely showcase the new Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset. So how is it shaping up against its competition? Let's take a look. Benchmark results are rolling in, and if these figures are any indication, the S25 Ultra is set to redefine flagship performance. On Geekbench, we've seen numbers reaching around 3,150 for single core and over 10,200 in multi-core testing. To give you some context, this represents one of the highest scores we've seen in Samsung's Galaxy lineup to date. So how does this powerhouse stack up against its sibling, the Galaxy S25 Plus? The S25 Plus seems to feature the yet unreleased Exynos 2500 chip, with recent benchmarks showing approximately 2,360 single core and 8,140 in multi-core. While those are respectable, it's clear that Samsung's collaboration with Snapdragon for the Ultra variant is yielding remarkable results. Now here's what makes these scores really exciting. The Snapdragon 8 Elite is Samsung's latest effort to enhance processing power and efficiency in the Ultra model, with Qualcomm's new chip likely designed to deliver superior graphics, smoother multitasking, and higher sustained performance. These advancements suggest a faster, more seamless experience for everything from gaming to productivity, especially if Samsung continues to optimize the hardware and software. Of course, it's worth noting that benchmark results for pre-release models can vary. Early results for the S25 Ultra hinted at lower scores, which could be due to early stage software or testing conditions that differ from real world usage. As Samsung tweaks and finalizes the device, we may see even further improvements before launch. Performance scores can be affected by several factors, such as software readiness, thermal management, and even the testing environment. So while these numbers are impressive, Let's keep in mind that they might still evolve as Samsung puts on the finishing touches. In addition to raw power, Samsung is expected to focus on efficiency and power management in the S25 Ultra. The Snapdragon 8 Elite's architecture is rumored to offer improvements in heat management and battery life, which would mean longer, smoother usage without the device heating up or draining battery too quickly. With the latest One UI also rumored to bring enhanced AI-powered features, the Galaxy S25 Ultra could be one of the most intuitive and reliable devices out there. As we wait for Samsung's official launch, these benchmark leaks give us a thrilling glimpse of what's to come. With some of the best scores seen so far, the Galaxy S25 Ultra could be a true powerhouse that redefines performance standards for Android phones. And as Samsung's optimization efforts deliver, this device might just become the go-to for anyone looking for cutting edge speed, power, and efficiency in a single package. So are you excited about the Galaxy S25 Ultra's potential? These performance metrics make it look like Samsung is setting the stage for something groundbreaking. Let us know in the comments, is this device living up to your expectations or are you holding out to see more? If you enjoyed today's deep dive into the S25 Ultra, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell so you never miss an update on the latest tech news. Thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more insights and updates on all things tech. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market 
and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons, the action button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new camera control button. This physical key equipped with a capacitive surface allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch LED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12-megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200-megapixel main camera alongside a 12-megapixel ultra-wide a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. 
The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.